crazy. Just because I got a hotel in my foot does not mean I'm an oogly boogly moogly. Say what? Ahem. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video game psychopaths. Oh mama, our prayers have been answered. For this list, we're looking at characters that lack basic human empathy, perform unspeakable deeds, or are just downright insane. As usual, we'll be focusing on one character per franchise, and a few spoilers do lie ahead. I'll be sure to keep you entertained before I dispose of you. Number 10, Pigsy Manhunt. Monkey see, monkey kill. That's your motivations for the next scene. Nothing says crazed lunatic like a chainsaw and a pig's mask. No more. Pigsy starred in the twisted film production, which enlisted serial killers to mutilate and kill each other. Being the highest rated star, the Chainsaw Murderer takes great pride in his work, as the character has seemingly eliminated all characteristics of a human being, to the extent of speaking in single word sentences. Pigsy's angry! <laughs> While he isn't being set loose to sow carnage, Pigsy is locked up in an attic and is fed the corpses of less fortunate contestants. <laughs> Number nine, Warden Clement Darling, The House of the Dead, Overkill. Take a seat, enjoy the show. When a son wishes to save their mother from an untimely death, it's usually considered noble. However, when that son plans on using a top secret formula to transplant their mother's brain into a new body, he's sitting more on the deranged side. Time for your treatment, mother. Wait! I'd rather not. It's heavily implied that Clement shared an incestuous relationship with his mother. That is, of course, until he ends up transforming her into an enormous abomination. Mommy. That is bad enough, but it's also later revealed that he's the cause of the mutant outbreak in the town. What a douche. I want to undo all the wrongs I have done. I want to return to the womb. Number eight, the St. John family, Telltale Games, The Walking Dead. Please. Please, don't you take another step. Brynn, come on now, you know you don't want to do this. First step of becoming a good psychopath is to not let anyone know that you're an actual psychopath. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Gosh, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. The St. John family plays this card quite well when they allow Lee and the rest of the survivors to stay with them. Lee, not being sold in the family's convincing kindness, does some investigating and finds out that the St. John's have a habit of eating their guests. Don't eat that! What? Uh, huh? Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Apocalypse or no apocalypse, eating humans just ain't cool, man. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Number seven, Needles Kane, Twisted Metal Series. The deranged killer clown has had numerous interpretations within the franchise, but the darkest and most disturbed one would have to be in his most recent. And this time, I'm going to finish what I started. Once a simple ice cream truck driver, Marcus Kane lived a happy family life with his wife and kids. Soon coming to despise his mundane life, however, Marcus developed an alter ego named Needles Kane and turned to a life of murder, starting with his own family. So many of them tried to fight. I think they wanted to make it fun for me. His daughter manages to escape, and he, along with his converted ice cream truck Sweet Tooth, enters the latest Twisted Metal contest in hopes of finding the one that got away. She was the only one who ever escaped. She was the one that got away. Number six, Trevor Phillips, Grand Theft Auto V. What was that? What? What was that? Uh, nothing. Ah! While some people are born crazy, others are just a product of their environment. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me. Trevor's life of debauchery started early, but in all fairness, he's had it pretty rough. Moving in and out of foster care homes, correctional facilities, and foster parents has got to be tough on a kid. There, there, it's okay, son. <laughs> oh, that's it now! But growing up into a complete degenerate with no empathy for human life is taking it a bit too far. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. 
Trevor is violent, rude, completely irrational, and prides himself on having a successful career in crime. Ugh, look at this. I'm practically at work. Number five, The Joker, Batman Arkham series. Welcome to the madhouse, Batman. I set a trap and you sprang it gloriously. The Joker is no stranger to film, comic books, or video games, but his portrayal in the Arkham series doesn't pull any punches in the crazy department. Here, have a laugh on me. <laughs> What separates the Joker from most of Batman's villains is how perfectly he fits as the psychotic yin to Batman's stoic yang. You were right, Mr. J. Classic martyr case with delusions of grandeur. Hoo -hoo. He possesses genius-level intellect, and with his haunting, permanent grin, it's incredibly hard to read his intentions and demeanor. A sharpie. Love what you've done with the place. He finds genuine humor in the misfortune of others, even when it comes at his own detriment. That actually is... <laughs> Pretty funny! <laughs> Number four, Walter Sullivan, Silent Hill 4, The Room. My name's Walter. Walter Sullivan. It's time to complete the 21 sacraments. Growing up in an abusive household, Walter found himself adopted into a sacrilegious cult at a very young age. He was then recruited to carry out the ritual called the 21 Sacraments. What are the 21 Sacraments? Don't worry. You'll know soon enough. In this, he would need to kill 21 people in order to summon God and Paradise onto the Earth. Glory. The last of the 21 Sacraments. Walter, being totally desensitized to violence and murder, would kill his victims with various methods, but would commonly cut their heart out and carve them a designated number. Every serial killer has their signature, and this guy takes his to heart. That kid Walter, he was really into that mumbo jumbo. Number three, Kratos, God of War series. Now you will see how strong I am. Anyone who plans to declare war on the Greek pantheon has a few marbles missing. The monster you've created has returned to kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. After being betrayed by the gods and tricked into murdering his own family, Kratos extracts absolute revenge and takes out each member of the Olympian family in the most brutal ways imaginable. <laughs> His overwhelming rage and desire for vengeance knows no bounds, and even lets him become the god of war for a time. The mortal who had become the new god of war. Long story short, don't mess with a Spartan. My vengeance ends now. Number two, Voss, Far Cry 3. Hey, Jason, you miss me? Crazy can come in many different shapes and sizes, but never have we seen anyone do it quite like Voss. I'm sorry, what did you say? Mm -hmm. What did you say? Mm -hmm. Did you want me to slice you open like I did your friend? Neither had the people at Ubisoft, apparently, since they only created the character after actor Michael Mondo crushed his audition. Between you and me, you should be outside playing in the sunshine instead of watching this bullshit. The drug-addicted pirate is prone to mood swings, making the already violent villain even more unpredictable. You see, the thing about our loved ones, right? Our f***ing loved ones! They come and they blindside you every f***ing time. So they say to me, they say, Voss, Voss, who the f*** is it going to be? Them or me? Me or them? He's menacing enough to make his own men fear him, and despite being a secondary antagonist, he's become the face of the game. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to my show. We still get chills from that insanity speech. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You know who I am? Yes. Then you know what I want. You're insane. You don't fool me. I am Alfred Ashford, commander of this base. Huh? Everyone used to laugh at me! <laughs> hey, remember back when we were sane? She can taste the bloody hatred! Number one, Kefka Palazzo, Final Fantasy VI. Oh, who's that handsome devil? While we could have gone with the nihilistic Seymour, 
This maniac doesn't only have a general disdain for human life, he explicitly despises it. We're still alive? You pathetic dregs can't even die properly. Serving as the court mage for Emperor Gestal, Kefka inherits powerful magical abilities, which warp his mind and psyche. His psychotic nature is represented through his flamboyancy, his unsettling laugh, and inability to sympathize with pain and other human emotions. Destruction isn't supposed to make sense! If all that wasn't convincing enough, Kefka's deeds speak louder than words. He enslaves the main character, poisons a river just to hear the screams of its victims, and even destroys the world in order to appoint himself as a god. And you thought you had issues. Destroy! 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 Let's destroy everything! Do you agree with our list? You deserve a prize! Which character do you think belongs in a straitjacket? For more awesome top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Oh. Oh. Mm. I guess party's over then.